Today's lesson is the bearing angles. A bearing tells you the direction of a travel. It's an angle measured clockwise from north and represents the 360 degrees of a circle. It's pretty much like a compass. So you have a north over here. The bearing angle, you will go clockwise. For example, I have a, the points over here. Yeah. Then this will be the bearing angle. Bearings can have any value from 0 to 360 degree. The north can be written as a 0, 0, 0 degree or 360 degree. If the bearing is less than 100 degree, you will put a 0 before the value. If a bearing is less than 10 degree, you will need to add two zeros to the front. For example, 0, 0, 007 degree. So how to draw the bearing angle of B from A is a 50 degree. From A, you will draw angle at A. So first of all, at A, you need to draw this uh, north uh, direction. Then you will draw angle clockwise uh, from the north. This is a 50 degree. That's the bearing angle of B from A. Look at number one. Find the bearing of B from A. So at A, you need to draw this uh, north line. Then connect A and B clockwise uh, from north. That's 250 degree. Here is a 250 degree. Find the bearing of A from B. So at B, you need to draw this uh, north line. Then connect this uh, BA. So this angle from north clockwise uh, will be the bearing angle of A from B. For this Y, we will use a 360 degree minus 250 degree equals 110 degree. So here is a 110 degree. For this angle, for let's label as a Z. So angle Z plus Y will be 180 degree because uh, Y and a Z we call this is a consecutive interior angles. So consecutive interior angles, Z and Y adding is 180. Therefore, Z equals 70 degree. This will be the bearing of A from B. That is a 70 degree. So for the X and Y, for X over here, this is X. You will get 110. You could see X and Z, they are linear pairs. Or you could say this X equals to Y. Because X and Y are corresponding angles. That equals 110. Let's go to number two. Find the bearing of B from A. This is A. So we draw the north line at A. Connect AB is this line. So this is a bearing angle from A to B, 110 degree. Find the bearing of A from B. At B, you will draw this north line. Then it's this angle. 
will be bearing angle. We already know for this X will be 70 degree because uh, these two angle X and uh, this is a uh, 110. They are consecutive interior angles. Therefore, for this bearing angle, let's label as a theta that equals 360 degree minus 70 degree. So you get the 290 degree. Find the x and the y. The x is a 70 degree. For the y, we will use 180 minus x. You will get the 110. Because the x and the y, they are linear pairs. Let's go to next example. A ship sails 22 kilometers on a bearing of 42 degrees from point A, and a further 30 kilometers on a bearing of 90 degrees to arrive at point B. Find the distance between A and B. First of all, we need to draw this uh, diagram. This is A. So we need to draw this uh, north line. 42 clockwise. This will be the 22 kilometers we got here. Then further 30 kilometers on a bearing of 90 degrees. So we will draw this north line. And uh, here, this is a 90 degree. Then this will be 30 kilometers. Here is B. Then we connect A and B. We're looking for AB. We know this is a 42 degree. So we will draw this. This will be 42 because they are alternate interior angles. Here is a 90 degree. Let's label this is a C. So angle. A, C, B equals 42 degree plus 90 degree. You will get 132 degree. 132 is an included angle. Because we know this side is 22 kilometers, this side is 30 kilometers. We got to use the cosine law. Because this is an included angle. If it's not included angle, you got to use a sine law. So according to cosine law, AB squared equals 22 squared plus 30 squared minus 2 times 22 times 30. Cosine 132 degree. First of all, Check the mode if here is a degree, then quit. We have 22 square plus 30 square minus 2 times 22 times 30. Then cosine 132 degree then enter. Second x square. Pull this in. Your final answer will be 47.6 equals 47.6 kilometers. Let's go to the next uh, question. There is a Coast Guard station at point A. And at point B. B is due east of 
A, which means uh, this is a right triangle. The distance from A to B is uh, 12 kilometers. There is a rolling boat at point R. R is on bearing of 160 degree from A. R is on the bearing of 220 degree from B. There is a, a speed boat at point T. T is a five kilometer due south of A. Work out the shortest distance from T to R. Give your answer correct to one decimal places. Since the shortest distance is the straight line, therefore, we need to connect T and R first. Since this is more than one triangle, we will focus on the common side like this. This is a common side. Try to figure out this uh, AR. For the AR, we know this angle, it will be 70 degree because uh, 160 minus uh, 90, you will get uh, 70 degree. And uh, since uh, this is a 90 degree, then this angle will be 50 degree because uh, you will do 360 degree minus 90 degree minus 220 degree. You will get uh, 50 degree. What about this angle? You will use 180 degree minus 50 degree minus 70 degree. That's a 60 degree. We will use a sun law to figure out this AR. So AR over sun 50 degree equals 12 over sun 60 degree. Then we will do cross multiply. AR equals sine 60 as a denominator, 12 times sine 50 degree. Since this AR is a middle number, we need a full answer. We will go to alpha y equals 12 times sine 50 over sine 60, you will get the 10.6146 and so on. Then we need to figure out this uh, theta angle. Theta equals 180 degree minus 160 degree so that you can get the 20 degree. Since this uh, theta is a included angle, you go to use a cosine law. So we have TR square equals five square plus 10.6146 square, then minus two times five times 10.6146 cosine 20 degree. So we got the TR. Here, we need to change it into one decimal place so that you will get the 6.2 kilometers.